This video will look at the importance of feed forward and feed back and develop the idea of command and control. Command and control, or C2, is a model for how people and systems work together to achieve common goals. The fundamental idea is that intent originates in a top-down direction while control is fed back from the bottom up. This distinction adds to the complexity that we saw in systems architecture. Not only are players a part of different systems, but they also carry different orientations within these systems. A player who is a commander in one is a subordinate in another. And even this changes in the flow of the game. Three of the main factors in framing C2 orientation are ball possession, the four main moments, which energy channel and frequency the player attends to, and the opponents. Ball possession creates a boundary between each individual's internal concept of reality and the environment. At times, the boundary is clear. At others, it isn't. The shift between clarity, ambiguity, and a new clarity cascades throughout the game and alters C2 direction. In order to maintain cohesion in C2, every player needs to continually monitor the energy channels connecting them with others, what they see, hear, and feel. In turn, each of these channels contain a number of different frequencies. Each frequency represents a different option that can command or control their attention. The third key factor in framing command and control are the opponents. Any system that fails to include them is idealized. Opponents disrupt C2 by taking command, ignoring command, or providing false feedback. The final elements in this video are the two basic principles that initiate the communication process, supply push and demand pull. Every player lives in a world that moves between these two states of need. In demand pull, the player needs information and actively seeks it out. This can be a commander looking for feedback or a subordinate looking for direction. In supply push, the player has, at least to him or her, information they need to get out. This can be a commander looking for a subordinate to assign a task, a subordinate looking for a commander in need of feedback, or a player looking for an opponent to mislead. Establishing and maintaining effective command and control in a system may be its greatest challenge. Without it, chaos rules. With it, harmonized effort reigns. It requires constant updating, work, and energy. Switching between targets, roles, channels, and frequencies is draining work. And when you add the presence of an active opponent, it becomes a dominant focus for survival and growth.